What's up everybody, hello and welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. A nuclear fallout is coming in one day, so we still prepare for that by, well, at the moment, we are harvesting our fields here prematurely, so it's not really fully grown yet, and we just have to harvest it before that storm arrives. It's going to take a bit of time here um, to harvest those fields, as you can see, especially, I think, the large field, which has quite a nice yield here already of 87 potatoes. And as you can see, it takes a bit of time and we really want to finish it before the storm hits. And yeah, this also, of course, um, skyrockets our food supply that we have there right now. Very happy to see that. No one's starving anymore at the moment. We also have enough water storage and energy is also piling up. We should be prepared for that nuclear fallout there. Now, something else. We do have some trade options again. I think we got some new trade options here. Um, junk science points, uh, definitely going for that. So we have two trading uh, trade routes here available again that we are using as well. Nuclear waste has been depleted as well over here. Why over here? Oh yes, perfect, that was something. So we got rid of it. We got rid of this one here. So this one here is the next one, which is quite a big pile of nuclear waste there 70 percent capacity so we should also be thinking about that nuclear waste storage here that we definitely have to build a second one anytime soon now now for my stockpiles they look fine yeah 17 percent capacity there everything else is working um planks is quite low i'm a bit surprised there we do have a sawmill here that is producing something so let's have a second one in this area and let's get rid of that forest here that we grew with the forester and we do have quite a lot of carriers available anyway that's fine now back here we do have our specialist once again so sorry the scavenger on her way now over here where we can we can probably well take a stop somewhere and fight for example those guys there you know they have some clothes there and they're probably a danger to a trinity camp here and Trinity Camp gives us science points, so let's just protect it. Over here we have Bonnie the Fighter, ready to attack Doomsday Fort. Let's do that. Should be easy for her. She didn't even lose any health there. And, oh yeah, she did. Okay, so 14 points there, but not dramatic. They lost more than half of it. So in the next turn, we're going to get rid of this Doomsday Camp here. Someone else, perhaps? Robert's up here. Oh, minor defeat against this camp there. Not good. Where should we put robots to? Um, we do need... Yeah, planks actually, but... No. Let's send robots. Let's send him... Also over here where we have the camp. So there is a... a yeah, an enemy camp again. And he can defeat them. And they're closer to my outpost. I want to get all my scouts more or less closer to my outpost depot there. Um, Nadia the scavenger. Minor defeat. Not good. There are some planks here. Let's scavenge them. It's close to the outburst anyway, and it's 50 that we can scavenge for one turn. So that's a lot of planks that we can get out of this one there. And Colonist Victoria is homeless. We should not have any homeless people, especially not when a storm is coming. So let's have another house, shall we? Let's put it... We already have a nice camp there. Um, yeah, let's just put it beside the other buildings there, even though we get rid of some trees with that. Oh. They have been replenished again already. And that's quick. I think the I think the action points replenish even if I don't use them. So let's get the. Do we need the tools? Yeah, we might. Actually, the danger is very high. Let's, let's not do that. Let's get her over there. There's lots of things that we can still scout. She's now going for the planks there. And there's no danger here, so she got 50 out of this one here. She's now attacking them one more time. And yes. Punch in the face, that's enough. And oh, perfect. A nuclear plant with 67% danger chance. That's not good, but 800 science points. And we do need them, as you know. He has yeah, restored his health there. So we can go back to business with him. And also over here. He can just, you know, go over here and we can find something for him to do then the same with robots the so robots is really just oh no that's a minor defeat there that's a minor victory here let's go for them some medical supplies that we do need anyway right so my scouts are doing their thing um planks not looking that good especially not since we need oh we do need lots of planks there 
for the two-story house. Hopefully, we can also finish this before the nuclear fallout happens. And I think, yeah, you definitely want to be in a house when that happens and not in an emergency shelter. Even though we do have quite a few people there in emergency shelters. But houses are so expensive, I really can't afford so many of them all the time. As you can see. And yeah, we do have the research points. Let's go back um, to, I think it was Colony. The couch potato would be available now for food. We could go for the alternative proteins and then the boring methods. So that produces and stores even more water than before. And then we could have the bakery and the mess hall. Reinforce gate. I think that's also a good thing. So we can question the survivors more before we let them in. And disaster forecast. Hmm, it's a bit difficult. I think we should go for... Let's have the reinforced gate so we can improve our gate there. Has it been already improved now or do we still need to do that? That's the question. There it is, gate. Nope, it seems like we have improved it with that research. It's definitely... Oh yeah, it looks better. Definitely. That's a pretty cool gate now. And yeah, we can now shine on the people and thus see them better. Yeah, insufficient construction materials. We don't have any planks anymore. Where's my sawmill? Not really, really working that hard. Uh -huh. But isn't that town looking nice already with dirt and junk? and metal scraps we created this town here even have a small library and perhaps a movie theater soon and another yeah turn for the specialists here so sorry minor victory she already has lots of metal and food in there and she's now also going to attack those bandits over there took quite the beating but they were damaged even more there we have one more time that we can scavenge the sawmill here or timber mill. Now we get 77 planks, very good. Roberts, Roberts is... Yeah, well, actually, why not? Let's go for them. Let's have some fighting here. Not a one shot, unfortunately. And yeah, we are going to get those science points. And oh, he took quite, a, quite some damage there. And we'll just see then if they can replenish health when they're in the outpost. That might be interesting. Oh, very good. Now we have all the construction materials and can start building that house here. And there is also the nuclear fallout. The second one. And oh no, look at that. The fields are now polluted. I uh, For a second I thought we would have more nuclear waste Um spots now just like this year those ponds there um i thought there were now nuclear waste ponds as well but they're not they're just just fields with another texture on it now but there will be normal fields again after the, the nuclear fallout has vanished and right i do need more doctors do we have enough people no no free carriers any uh, left anymore let's get rid of one here and i definitely have too many we can, yeah, we can empty those fields of workers and have them working as a doctor here and here. Perfect, so all three medical tents are now used. The witch's wits. You're surprised to see an old woman with face like a peanut and a bent body standing in front of the gate. Nobody admits seeing her arrive. The woman cackles, interested in riddles, answer this. I'm tall when I'm born, but short when I'm gone. What am I? We already had this riddle there. A candle. And we get 15 antibiotics. That's pretty good. So she's, yeah, vanishing again into thin air. Probably getting radiated out there. And we just got some pills. Let's also have a look at the specialists there again. Another, f another fight here. Probably, yes, in his face. And there we got it, I guess. 
over here the sawmill let's get the resources back to the outpost robots will also be able to to yeah <laughs> kill them some cool animations there and we get these iodine pills here we have more oh yeah she was damaged again for the research points and Aramis is also coming for that power plant here because she will not be able to do it in anymore. She's too damaged. And yes, we have now the two-story house here, the next one. And as we can see, people from the emergency shelters and tenements are moving to the two-story house automatically when it's free. Because now we have some free spots here. And this one here is full already, right away. Right, so we do have some irra irradiated colonists, six of them, five. So I think, hopefully we have enough medical tents here for all of them. But it's looking fine so far, food. Yeah, we are consuming quite a lot of food right now, but we have lots in store. Water and energy are not a problem. Let's see, she could get some components or some more research. Uh, I'm searching his scouting. Let's do that. Let's scout. He's going for the nuclear plant. She is going back to the outpost because I want to see if she uh, actually restores health there then. Roberts. Yeah, let's get us the pills there. No damage anyway. And she has the planks. Very good. Now we have 87 planks available. And yeah, she is ready or again. So let's go for the power plant there. So two of them. Because there are lots of research points waiting. Seven colonists are sick at the moment. Hopefully the medical tents there are fast enough, but I think for the future we'll need the better building that we have. There's a better building for that. Medical center, there it is. The field hospital. Which does need electricity though. And right, we do have more points, alternative proteins, or couch potato. I'm, I'm leaning towards the couch potato to be honest. We'll see. Eight colonists are sick now. We only have lost one colonist so far, right? Yep, one. That's fine. Shouldn't lose any more, though. And what's the arena, anyway? Arena? We might build the arena now. And a group of survivors. Oh, six children. Six children, they are. They've got lots of supplies, though. Five of them are injured. Oh, that's a bad timing to have some injured people there. And a very, very strange looking specialist there. The noob. Oh, you really don't want to mess with her. And she's a trader. But has a very high attack value for a trader. You won't get many opportunities for small talk with her. The straight to the point attitude might scare away some. But it makes trading a lot simpler. Whatever you offer, you won't have to worry about hurting her feelings. Just remember that she doesn't care about much about yours either. Yeah, well, let's take them, of course. Um, this is definitely putting a huge strain on my medical system here right now. But the nuclear fallout is gone. Very good. So we should be able to treat them all. Sorry, let's go over here. We are growing. We have one more specialist. Oh, now we need to scroll the specialists here. There's the power plant successfully. Perfect. And he will also go for it. Also successfully. Very good. Another 200 there. So we are... Oh, is it capped? I hope it's not capped at 999. And Roberts, you scavenge more of those pills. And she is going for the outpost. So she has 26 health. And we'll just see if that replenishes there. And the noob, the traitor... What should I do with you? She's got high attack value. Might be very good to get rid of some of those camps there. Yeah, let's attack this one here. That reveals something again. 
might be interesting. And with all those planks, we do have, I think, five colonists are homeless. Let's build a home, a house. A two-story house there. So we can build it probably... Yeah. Where should we build that house there? Here? No, not in front of the environmental station. Let's have it here. Actually, wait a second, my mistake. Let's have it... We, we want to keep those bushes there, right? Like that. And then the paved roads again. And also on this side here. And then we should also be thinking about those emergency sh uh, tenements, not emergency shelters, but tenements that we could replace with some two-story houses there. Planks, concrete, metal, those things we should find on the map. And this one's idle now, so let's get back out there and put them on the field, two of them. And we can use three. Oh, we have 14 carriers. Right, we took quite a lot of people in there. So I can really fill in lots of those buildings now. Look at that, how many carriers we have. Oh, cockroaches. Okay, she took some damage now. And yeah, it's not capping, very good. But I don't think that they are replenishing any health in those outposts. That's bad. Oh, there we have more observatory. Lots of research points now. Yeah, I think she needs to go back to town. To Sleepy Hollow there. We just keep her there one more turn. And there we're building the two-story house. As you can see, also water is going down there. So let's research something. First of all, I want to finish now this one here, couch potato. So there we have unlocked everything for the colony now. And for food, we could go for this route here now, right? The other things really don't look that cool anymore to me. Perfect. Alternative proteins and then boring methods for more water production here. And we can also go with the greenhouse probably, but I don't think that that is really necessary. Since the greenhouse, you know, we can store so much food um, for any storm that arrives. And food storage is only at 12%. Mm -hmm. It's really not much there. And yeah, the school is full though, so we probably will need another school soon. Right now I want to have this two-story two house here build because we need it and then let's have a look at the movie theater look at that we could build it yep we could build it cost me 12 electricity though and game arcade would also be possible both of them actually that's movie theater yeah let's have it beside the library because that just fits here over here very cool and two-story house has been finished and again, on the other side of this one here, I really would like to have some ornaments. Let's have those large bushes there. Not the best building menu, gotta say. You have to scroll around a lot. And the specialists, let's go over here. Some more components. Scout over here. More components. Yeah. He could... Nope, that's a minor defeat. Yeah, let's get some fun boxes over there. Um, you're going back to town. You are... Yeah, going over here to that observatory. And try to scavenge some points for us. Very good. Actually, she could do it too. Let's get her over there as well. And you are going for those bandits there. You don't want to mess with her. Those bandits will learn that soon. And oh, it's already full of construction materials because we have so many carriers. 
and slavers are here again. Once again, they offer us to trade. Two colonists, three colonists for 15 parts. Let's do that. Trade three captives. Let's let's get them all to safety. And thus we have three more. And I think we'll need more houses as well. Yep, no homeless people yet. And let's just have a look at that movie theater. Oh, it doesn't have a roof. Are you kidding me? With the storms and rain that we have. And there's the movie theater. A sorry sight of a building there. We definitely do need another large wind turbine though for the electricity. Over here. And let's have a look. For health stuff, I think, or for yeah, fun stuff, I don't think we'll need anything else here for the moment. But we definitely want to get more water here, so let's have a bore well. Digs deep into the earth, providing a stable source of water. And it seems like it doesn't matter where I build it, right? It just digs deep everywhere. Right, too. Probably not too close to my town, so over here where we have the wind mills, let's build one of them as well. And right, I will probably need more resources there too. A diner. Yep, yeah, you're going for the observatory. Very good. 200 there and 138 here. She's going to town, to the Wolfgang's lair, next episode, next turn. Sorry, not next episode. And Bonnie the fighter, still on her way back to Sleepy Hollow because she's quite injured. And yeah, but resources, he's going for fun boxes. Other than that, planks are quite important as well. I really do like the camp and we even have a flag up here in our town. And right, metal is missing a bit right now. But isn't that a nice cozy little town here that we got? There is a movie running right. <laughs> okay, exciting. Exciting things happening in there. Probably want something else here though. So, oh yeah, the, we still have something for the food and the greenhouse might also be interesting. And the trade convoy has arrived, probably with some science points here and we can get probably something else here. We have enough food again. Yeah, let's get some metal because we really do need it. Let's also have a look at research again for the food production. We could go now for delic delicacies. Even in the aftermath, people crave a bit of luxury. The smell of freshly baked bread can have a surprisingly large effect on morale. A mill grounds wheat into flour, which is then turned into bread at the bakery. And yeah, why not? We also have enough workforce um, to supply something like that, you know, so it's perfectly fine. And nuclear waste has been depleted. So over here, this one here is gone, so we only have that one here with 100. Oh, that's going to be close, and we probably want to have another waste depot over there then. Oh, there's nothing in there anymore? Nope. So we can scout again. Oh, that's looking like a very dangerous place. And down here we have something. She's now attacking. Probably one-shotting them. Nope, but very close. No problem. And here we have some fun boxes because I really, really want to get the game arcade as well. So Bond the Fighter is still on her way back. Takes quite some time now to get from one point to the other. Other than that, looking good so far. Day 57, we got a movie theater with a running stag in it. And yeah, we should also look a bit at the water supply. 
We're doing all of it. Stay tuned.